My friends, let me ask you a question today. How many of you wake up each morning determined to make the most of your day, to push yourself further, to become the best version of who you can be? Raise your hand if that sounds like you. Well, let me tell you, that's the kind of attitude and mindset that I want to see more of in this world. Because the truth is, my friends, if we're not constantly striving to improve ourselves, to stretch the boundaries of what we thought possible, then we're simply settling for mediocrity. And I don't know about you, but I refuse to settle. I want more, and I know that each and every one of you has the potential to achieve greatness if only you're willing to put in the work. You see, the key to unlocking that greatness, that true fulfillment and success, lies in our ability to focus on 10 essential areas of improvement day in and day out. These are the building blocks, the fundamental pillars that will support us as we climb to the summit of our own personal mountains. Now, I know what you might be thinking, 10 things. That sounds like a lot of work. But let me tell you, my friends, the rewards that come from mastering these 10 areas are truly priceless. It's because when you commit yourself to this journey of continuous improvement, you're not just enhancing your skills or your knowledge. You're transforming the very core of who you are. You're sharpening your mind, strengthening your body, and nourishing your spirit in ways that will reverberate through every aspect of your life. And as you start to see the results of your efforts, as you start to experience the tangible benefits of your growth and development, I guarantee you, your motivation and drive will only continue to soar. So, without further ado, let's dive into these 10 essential areas of improvement, and let's do it with the same passion, the same determination, and the same yielding spirit that has carried so many of us to the heights of success. Number one, our list. Your mindset. Now, I know, I know, we've all heard this one before, but let me tell you, the power of your mindset cannot be overstated. It's because you see, my friends, the way you think, the way you perceive the world around you, it's the foundation upon which everything else is built. If you approach each day with a fixed, limiting mindset, one that's bogged down by self-doubt, fear, and negative beliefs, then you're essentially sabotaging your own potential before you even get out of bed. But if you consciously cultivate a growth mindset, one that's open to new possibilities, that embraces challenges as opportunities for growth, then the sky truly is the limit. And let me tell you, the work required to shift your mindset, to retrain your brain, to see the world through this more empowering lens, it's not easy, it takes time. It takes dedication and it takes a willingness to confront the limiting beliefs and thought patterns that have been holding you back. But I promise you, my friends, the rewards are more than worth it. It's because when you master your mindset, when you become the master of your own thoughts and emotions, you unlock a level of personal power and resilience that will serve you in every area of your life. Suddenly, those problems that once seemed insurmountable start to feel a little bit more manageable. The goals that you once thought were out of reach start to feel a little bit more attainable. And that, my friends, is just the beginning. It's because as you continue to nurture and refine this mindset of possibility, as you dare to push the boundaries of what you thought was possible, you're going to start to see the world around you begin to shift in the most remarkable ways. Which brings us to the second area of improvement, your habits. You see, my friends, our mindset is only as powerful as the actions and behaviors that we consistently reinforce through our daily routines. And if we're not intentionally cultivating the kinds of habits that support our growth and development, then we're essentially shooting ourselves in the foot. Think about it. How many of us have fallen into the trap of mindlessly scrolling through social media, binge watching Netflix, or indulging in unhealthy snacks, all while telling ourselves that we'll start fresh tomorrow? Well, let me tell you, that kind of behavior is not only sabotaging our progress, but it's also reinforcing the very mindset that's holding us back in the first place. But when we take the time to deeply examine our habits, to identify the ones that are serving us and the ones that are holding us back, and then consciously work to replace the negative ones with more empowering routines, that's when the real magic starts to happen. Suddenly, those tasks that we once dreaded, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The goals that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. 
because you see, my friends, our habits, they're the building blocks of our success. They're the foundation upon which we construct the life of our dreams. And as we continue to refine and master these daily rituals, as we dare to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, we're going to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most profound ways. Suddenly, those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're gonna to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The challenges that we once thought were beyond our capabilities, they're gonna to start to feel a little bit more surmountable. Which brings us to the third area of improvement. Your relationships, you see, my friends, the people that we surround ourselves with, the connections that we cultivate, they have an incredibly profound impact on our ability to grow, to thrive, and to achieve our deepest aspirations. And I'm not just talking about the obvious ones, like uh, our romantic partners or our closest friends. No, I'm talking about the entire ecosystem of relationships that we've built, our family members, our colleagues, our acquaintances, even the strangers that we interact with on a daily basis. It's because each and every one of these connections has the power to either lift us up or drag us down to either inspire us or to limit us. So my challenge to you today is this, take a long, hard look at the relationships in your life and ask yourself, are these people serving me or are they holding me back? Because the truth is, my friends, we can't achieve true, lasting success on our own. We need a support system, a network of individuals who are not only rooting for our success, but who are actively contributing to it. And when we make the conscious decision to surround ourselves with people who are aligned with our values, our goals, and our vision for the future, that's when the real magic starts to happen. Suddenly, those challenges that once felt overwhelming, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The opportunities that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. Because you see, my friends, when we build a tribe of like-minded individuals, when we connect with those who share our passion and our drive, we're tapping into a level of synergy and collective power that is truly unstoppable. And as we continue to nurture and strengthen those relationships, as we pour our time and energy into creating a truly supportive network, we're going to start to see the results manifest in ways that we never even imagined possible. Which brings us to the fourth area of improvement, your health. Now, I know, I know we've all heard the importance of staying healthy and fit, but let me tell you, the impact that it has on our overall well-being, our productivity, and our ability to achieve our goals, it simply cannot be overstated. Because you see, my friends, when we neglect our physical and mental health, when we fail to prioritize the self-care practices that nourish and sustain us, we're essentially sabotaging our own potential. We're limiting our energy, our focus, and our ability to show up as the best versions of ourselves day in and day out. But when we make the commitment to take care of our bodies, to fuel ourselves with the right nutrients, to engage in regular exercise and stress management techniques, the transformation can be truly remarkable. Suddenly those tasks that we once dreaded, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The goals that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. And it's not just about the physical benefits, my friends. No, when we prioritize our health, we're also nourishing our minds, our emotions, and our spirits in ways that have a profound ripple effect on every area of our lives. We're cultivating the resilience, the clarity, and the boundless energy that we need to tackle even the most daunting challenges with confidence and enthusiasm. And as we continue to refine and master these healthy habits, as we dare to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, we're going to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most profound ways. Suddenly, those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're going to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The obstacles that we once thought were beyond our capabilities, they're going to start to feel a little bit more surmountable. It's because you see, my friends, when we take care of our health, when we nurture and nourish the very foundation upon which our success is built, we're unlocking a level of personal power and resilience that is truly unstoppable. We're becoming the masters of our own destinies, the captains of our own ships, sailing confidently towards the shores of our wildest dreams. And that, my friends, brings us to the fifth area of improvement. 
your knowledge and skills. Now, I know what you might be thinking, isn't this just about education and learning? Well, yes and no. You see, it's not just about acquiring knowledge for the sake of knowledge. No, it's about deliberately and strategically cultivating the skills, the expertise, and the understanding that will propel us towards the fulfillment of our goals and the realization of our highest potential. It's because let's be honest, the world is changing at a breakneck pace. The demands and the expectations placed upon us, both professionally and personally, they're constantly evolving. And if we're not constantly working to expand our knowledge, to fine tune our abilities, and to stay ahead of the curve, then we're going to find ourselves falling behind struggling to keep up with the relentless pace of progress. But when we make the commitment to be lifelong learners, when we embrace the mindset of continuous growth and development, that's when the magic really starts to happen. Suddenly, those challenges that once seemed insurmountable, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The opportunities that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. It's because you see, my friends, knowledge is power. And when we combine that knowledge with the right set of skills, the kind of expertise that allows us to navigate even the most complex and daunting obstacles, we're unlocking a level of mastery and confidence that is truly unshakable. And as we continue to invest in our own growth and development, as we dare to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, we're going to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most remarkable ways suddenly those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're gonna to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The challenges that we once thought were beyond our capabilities, they're gonna to start to feel a little bit more surmountable. Which brings us to the sixth area of improvement, your finances. Now I know, oh I know, money can be a sensitive and sometimes uncomfortable topic. But the truth is, my friends, the way we manage our financial resources has a profound impact on our overall well-being, our ability to achieve our goals, and our capacity to create the kind of life that we truly desire. And I'm not just talking about making more money, although that's certainly an important part of the equation. No, I'm talking about developing a holistic understanding of personal finance. One that encompasses everything from budgeting and savings to investment strategies and risk management. It's because you see, when we approach our finances with the same level of intentionality and strategic thinking that we apply to other areas of our lives, we're not just improving our bottom line, we're unlocking a whole new level of freedom, security, and opportunity. Suddenly, those financial challenges that once felt overwhelming, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The goals that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. And it's not just about the practical benefits, my friends. No, when we master our finances, when we become the captains of our own financial destiny, we're also cultivating a deep sense of empowerment, of self-reliance, and of control over our lives that has a profound ripple effect on every area of our existence. We're breaking free from the shackles of debt, the limitations of scarcity, and the constant worry and stress that so often accompanies financial insecurity. And as we continue to refine and optimize our financial strategies, as we dare to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, we're gonna to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most remarkable ways. Suddenly, those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're going to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The opportunities that we once thought were out of reach, they're going to start to feel a little bit more attainable. And that, my friends, brings us to the seventh area of improvement, your time management. Now, I know, I know, we've all heard the importance of being productive, of maximizing our time and our energy, but let me tell you, the impact that it has on our ability to achieve our goals, to live a fulfilling and meaningful life, it simply cannot be overstated. Because you see, my friends, when we fail to prioritize our time, when we allow ourselves to get bogged down by distractions, procrastination, and the endless pull of busyness, we're essentially sabotaging our own potential. We're limiting our ability to focus, to take strategic action, and to make meaningful progress towards the things that truly matter to us. But when we make the commitment to become the masters of our time, when we consciously and deliberately allocate our resources in ways that support our growth and development, that's when the real magic starts to happen. 
Suddenly those tasks that we once dreaded, they start to feel a little bit more manageable. The goals that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. And it's not just about getting more done, my friends. No, it's about cultivating the focus, the clarity, and the energy that we need to approach each and every day with a sense of purpose, intention, and unwavering commitment. It's about creating the space and the structure that allows us to truly thrive, to pour our hearts and souls into the pursuits that light us up and fill us with a deep sense of fulfillment. And as we continue to refine and optimize our time management strategies, as we dare to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible, we're going to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most profound ways. That suddenly, those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're going to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The challenges that we once thought were beyond our capabilities, they're going to start to feel a little bit more surmountable. Which brings us to the eighth area of improvement. Your personal brand, now I know, I know some of you might be thinking personal brand, isn't that just for celebrities and business leaders? Well, my friends, let me tell you, in today's hyper-connected, fast-paced world, the way we present ourselves, the way we position ourselves in the eyes of others, it has a profound impact on our ability to achieve our goals, to create the kind of opportunities that we truly desire. It's because you see, when we take the time to intentionally cultivate our personal brand, when we craft a clear and compelling narrative that reflects our unique strengths, our values and our vision for the future, we're not just enhancing our marketability or our visibility. We're tapping into a level of personal power and influence that can truly be life-changing. Suddenly, those doors that once seemed firmly shut, they start to open up. The connections that we once thought were out of reach, they start to feel a little bit more attainable. Because when we own our narrative, when we become the architects of our own personal story, we're empowered to step into the fullest expression of who we truly are and to command the respect, the recognition, and the opportunities that we deserve. And it's not just about the external benefits, my friends. No, when we invest in our personal brand, we're also cultivating a deeper sense of self-awareness, of clarity, and of confidence that has a profound ripple effect on every area of our lives. We're becoming the captains of our own ships, the masters of our own destinies. And as we continue to refine and optimize our personal branding strategies, we're going to start to see the world around us begin to shift in the most remarkable ways. Suddenly, those problems that once felt so insurmountable, they're going to start to feel a little bit more manageable. The challenges that we once thought were beyond our capabilities, they're going to start to feel a little bit more surmountable.